Okay, so this story is um, about our old friend Shot Spotter, who are the people that um, I'm sorry, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to move Saul more into shot here, uh, according to my setup, and uh, do it subtly. But then I realised anybody who's watching this is gonna anyway. All right, so this is about Shot Spotter. They are a company that, if you didn't know already, have uh, some software where they place or uh, microphones around a city, and then they claim to be able to tell when shots are fired in the city, and then they can they alert law enforcement and send out um, police cars. They um, have kind of been outed by Vice because Vice wrote a bunch of articles about how you know it's not effective, how the police were sent out to places that they shouldn't have been going to, how um, all sorts of stuff, uh, and also how they were asked to falsify um, reports, or, or, you know, shots that had been identified after the fact. Um, so this is a, a, a thing. Vice, the people who were writing these articles, have been sued by Shotspotter because of one particular article which was about the falsification of the data. $300 million uh, apparently and Shotspotter reckon they have a chance at winning this. I think it's, yeah we've talked about this before, it's kind of, I in our little notes we have a spreadsheet where we track the stories we want to talk about and I put our old friend Shotspotter because um, it's kind of a ridiculous technology and it not very effective and um it's one of those situations where i think it's coming to being because certain people have profited from its existence and that's it <clears throat> there's no legit kind of you know th there's been studies done that vice had talked about that, that showed the efficiency of it or the, the um the accuracy of it and it's 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 less than like you know just randomly sending out police squads to places i think or something crazy like that the <coughs> excuse me sorry the um, the thing I love about this is that uh, they shot sponsor have only sued them about that one article, so it's kind of implicitly saying, yeah, all the rest of it is true. <laughs> yeah, uh, and the falsification of data thing is because uh, when they were, it's it's all very semantics. It's like, well, they asked us if we could do this, but then we said no, as you know. <laughs> Yeah, that stood out to me, too. Like, there was one part of the article where he said, well, m their story came from court testimony, but this but yeah. this wasn't testimony from our experts. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Does that <laughs> mean it's not true or is this that your yeah. experts didn't say it? Um, I, I mean, I will say, to be fair, to be fair, m most of what I know about ShotSpotter is from the Vice articles. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> But I mean, I think that's all you need to know, if, especially if they're not getting sued about those articles, right? Because yeah. if it was untrue, they would they would have three lawsuits or one big law, one bigger one, three hundred million dollars. I mean, where do they get that figure from? Like, it will how be much in, do they earn? Yeah, yeah. It, it it'll be interesting to see if it gets settled or dismissed or if somebody wins. I guess maybe the Fight, discouraging they're not, they're outcome not, not could be if Vice settles. I I mean how. When was the last time Vice settled on one of their articles? I don't remember that being the case. They're pretty thorough. Yeah. I've, I've got a lot of confidence in Vice. This is what they do. They, they write outrageous stuff, but they make sure that they cover their asses. All right, like, all right. And the article yeah, was yeah. kind of uh, a slight tone of dismissiveness. Um, <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Just a, a tinge. A focus of, of uh, critical coverage suing the millennial-focused news outlet. Oh, I know. Uh, millennials. <laughs> New, news uh channels f s s catering to them Ugh. i know the 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 lamestream media or something <laughs> i don't know but sprinkles and other dismissive terms in there yeah, yeah. just you know obviously it's a it's a i think you could write an article like this with an ai and it would read roughly <laughs> the same just get, get uh, you know a gan with gpt3 or something to to generate keep feeding it some but it looks uh, apparently like it took two people to write it, <laughs> according to the really? byline. I bet one of the works for Shotspotter. They're real names, <laughs> not Shotspotter lawyers. Expert, expert testimony. 
Um, I kind of grouped this one in too, just because uh, kind of the idea of mass surveillance. So the Clear, Clearview CEO just said, yeah, we scraped 10 million photographs from the internet and we're going to keep doing it. Um, th yeah. Po it's publicly available information. They say in the article that the social media companies have have uh, or, or they've ignored pressure from Facebook, Google, YouTube, and Twitter for scraping these images. But what are you going to do? Like they're out on the internet, they can scrape them. Um, the uses were kind of interesting. They said it's, it's it's banned in Canada. They don't have anybody in Europe using it, so they're really focused on getting it right in the U.S. market. Well, that's that's uh, logic tracks. Yeah, sure. Mm. But we're all about surveillance. I think if you replaced the word Clearview with Google this would have a different tone on this article and may not ever have been written because people wouldn't care. I mean, Google Images? Isn't that That's true. Sort of the same thing. It's, it's more, I think, about what they're doing with it, this, this massive yeah. database, not necessarily the fact that they've done the scraping. I kind of, here's the thing, right? I really like this. I love the, the kind of tech behind it. I wish I had a personal copy of the internet and I could just do data analysis on it and like have a, a, my own personal archive of 10 billion images. I'd love to play with that. It's so sure, much fun, sure. but, but I don't. Um, I've done some scraping before. I, I started off doing scraping of websites and stuff and I love it. I love getting data from disparate sources and, and, and like combining it and transforming it into some beautiful, elegant data structure that can tell you interesting things. Uh, so the whole idea of Clearview is, is uh, it you know, excites me, but they are kind of assholes, I think, Wh as well. Why? I mean, the sale of Google. Well, because they're, they're using this to, like, identify people and violate their privacy, which I really don't like. If I, I put my face on social media for the public to see, and they can find it, and they can use that to match another image of me involved in a crime... Why shouldn't they do that? You know what? They should be regulated. That's what should happen. This kind of tech should be regulated. Genuinely, actually, I think that. I think it should be. Re regulation? I mean, we, we talked about that in another uh, story. Re regulation doesn't solve the problem. I think in this case, it would help. Because it's a big tech company that isn't being regulated. So they are, as you have often said, Financially, well, no, what's it called? Fiduciarily uh, responsible for exploiting that technology for the yeah. maximum possible profit. And That's one way to do that ca is capitalism by creating works. a horrible capitalism works. Capitalism at its finest. Yeah! Capitalism is working. <laughs> Proof that it's all been worth it. Um... <laughs> I like that take on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, how can it, how can it be wrong? They've made lots of money doing this. Right. That's the <laughs> logic. Yeah. I, I mean, it's. Uh, I one thing I, I heard recently, uh, like a couple of weeks ago, and it, that I probably heard before, but it has just kind of surfaced in my mind is this term: privacy is power. And I I really like this term because to me it kind of encompasses the fundamental right that I think humans should have to a certain level of privacy. Um, and I think not being part of a massive database that is used uh, incorrectly and can easily be abused for finding criminals <clears throat> is, is part of that fundamental right to privacy. And, you know, you can talk about real world examples like you know, dissidents or ex-boyfriends or, you know, the stalking capabilities and the fact that, uh, you know, law enforcement are going to definitely going to abuse this. And um, the fact that the technology exists and probably going to be misused in Iraq and Turkey and, and China and wherever. But I think it doesn't matter in the end. I think that there should just be this fundamental right. And then, and then having to convince people that that it's a problem i'm going to do this the slow no, wrong way okay coming back <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> anyway so i was saying what well, yeah the, the the kind of having to constantly convince people that it's a problem that argument should go away i think and it should just be a right 
you're looking very serious, Mike. You're wondering about, okay, now how, which of these arguments, how should I tell him how wrong he is exactly? One of attack person. No, I, I don't know. Like, I, it's such, it's such a complicated issue. Like, yeah, obviously yeah. everyone wants privacy. Privacy is important. Everybody should have privacy. Right. Well, stop but, there. <laughs> but from what? Like, if I put myself on social media, I am giving that up. I'm, wa- that. I'm waiving privacy by putting a picture of myself up on social media. It's not just that. It's CCTV images for clear view. You know, and they're, they're getting images from anywhere and everywhere that they can. It's stuff where you wouldn't expect to be. And people, that's, that's the thing. You and I expect to have our information scraped when we put it on the, the internet. But my mum doesn't. She's just signed up to Facebook because she wants to keep in touch with her, her son in Malta. But it's, it's all the social this, the issues. Way. To go back to the shot caller, because they put that in poor neighborhoods. Surveillance cameras in poor neighborhoods. Um, yeah. Because it's more all this stuff there. is they get better. Yeah, it, the problem's not the technology. The problem is c- capitalism and uh, the application of justice in a corrupt manner and corrupt politicians. And like this, it's not the technology that's the problem. Yeah, which I guess is 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 the is the difference for me. I'm not concerned about the privacy itself. I'm concerned about how the data is being used against me. And to me, the solution is not to try and protect that data. The solution is to apparently be impotently frustrated uh, about how it's used. (laughs) Yeah. Impotently frustrated. (laughs) Yeah, I think that's that's an accurate description. (laughs) So, another great segment. Fun way to wrap it up. <laughs> Fun way to wrap it up, yeah. I, I think we should have another positive week. We should do another week where we look for positive stories because because this is getting to me, man. This is like uh, a vacation week where we don't do any stories? Is that what you're advocating for? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. I, 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 I well, if we, we have, have to just have do it. positive stories, then... Yeah, it's a vacation what, week, right. What Sorry, are we going to talk get, about? That, I didn't get that for a second. I don't know why. I didn't get that because it was clearly obvious. This next uh, one is kind of fun. I, I think it's a positive story. Okay. So we'll cut this off into uh, into an individual segment, but you can check it out yeah. if you want to look for it. The headline is, A True Story About Bogus Photos of People Making Fake News. Okay. I think it's really yeah. interesting. We'll put it in another video, but you should go look for it. Apparently, the wizard would like put, put links on the <laughs> video, but I don't understand how any of that works, so we'll figure it out. And if you've watched that one before watching this, sorry. Just go back and watch it, like, watch it again after this. Or you could just leave a comment to say, yes, they were totally right. You should go check it out. I think that's really the best course of action here. 100%. All right. Well, we'll see you over on that video then.